The Boeing 747 glides majestically upon the wind current, liberating the people from their limiting locality as a feat of aerospatial ingenuity. Your Boeing, like the Boeings, glides upon the string as your wrist mimics the graceful movements of a betta fish, vibrating the sinking bowl of your viol and liberating the minds of the masses with music. Now, if you were going to try and thread a needle, would you use the same part of your wrist and arm as you would to swing a nine pound hammer? No, small movement takes small muscle. This is key to many of the dynamic tricks and fast and fancy bowing rhythms. Using the bow's own natural physical laws of physics. Now try this. If you were going to just put your bow on your violin and using only the weight of the bow, no downward pressure, no holding back of any pressure, just try these small movements. <laughs> is hardly moving at all because it's staying in the same area of the bow in relationship to where it is on the violin but if I was going to try some larger movements of pressure and speed to change the dynamics and create new little rhythmic patterns and tunes. For example, you can create a small burst of, of an accent to keep a rhythmic flow in a tune like leather britches. <laughs> Soldier's Joy. And if you think of the singing bowl, that the way that works is you've got to spin this little kind of texturized stick inside of a, a bowl that also has a, a lot of uh, new resistance coefficient of coefficient of friction in it. Uh, eventually, if you get the right amount of pressure and speed, it's going to start making a sound and vibrating. And then if you even stop vibrating, it'll keep making the sound. You got it going. And so you can keep this same thought in mind when you're trying to get that sweet spot and keep that going on your violin with the bowing, but also a big part of fiddling and the style of fiddling is to keep this rhythmic 
rhythmic momentum going, like with the vibrational rhythmic, vibrational momentum. And so think of like a, a, a really simple tune like Angelina Baker. If you take that and you add all these rhythmic patterns into it, you're going to create a lot more momentum to the tune and it's going to sound like fiddling and it's just going to keep that whole vibe going and that whole groove going a lot more than if you're just thinking no 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 you gotta think rhythm 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 fill 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 in between the melody <laughs> Listen to some of your favorite fiddlers and see all the little rhythmic things they do. <laughs> <laughs> 